Hey, it's Ubu, and today we're playing a game called Chicana, which is developed by Tiz010, and you can find the game on Itch.io. Very simply, it's a game about an ordinary date taking a dark turn, and strange things start to happen in our house that we have to investigate, and there's dialogue and whatnot we have to siphon through to figure out what's really going on. And either we'll make the right choices and maybe figure out what's going on or maybe make things worse. I'm not sure. So I figured we'd try it out and uh, see what's up. So if you're not familiar with my channel, at the end of the video, I'll review the game and share my thoughts on it. So that's what I like to do here. Anyways, we'll hit start game. Whoa. You know, it's nice here. It has an atmosphere. How should I put it? A bit retro, but cozy. It's nothing special, but yes, it has its charm. I like the tranquility. You should see my apartment. It looks like a battlefield. Stuff everywhere. Every time I tell myself, I'll clean tomorrow, and then tomorrow never comes. <laughs> there is no tomorrow. <laughs> well, the mess has its appeal. Don't worry, my floor is also a stage for dust. It's called being sloppy. <laughs> That's very forward, isn't it? Jeez. Um, I'll just say, like you know, don't worry, my floor... Is also a stage for dust. What about company? Don't you feel a bit isolated? I don't think it's your concern. I wouldn't say so. My neighbor has the gift of giving, getting annoyed by even the rustling of pages. A bit, but I like my solitude. It's like a refuge where I can recharge. I'm going with that one. Have you ever considered moving? Maybe to a house with a little garden? Or a gothic tower with gargoyles as doormen? That'd actually be really cool. <laughs> I love gargoyles, maybe on the roof protecting a bell. Gargoyles creep me out, and I wouldn't want to deal with an, 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 ar an archaic garden. I think that's what they're trying to say. I don't know. Move? Why don't you move out of my house? <laughs> I love gargoyles. Maggie seems amused. Speaking of strange things, last night I read a fascinating article about some not-so-lovely sea creatures. Vampire eels. Roaming in some dark corner of the Pacific, ready to ruin your beach evening. I think that's real. I've heard of those, I think. But also vampire squid, which are really scary. Uh, anyways, perfect. Exactly what I needed to stop swimming forever. Vampire eels. My reading is a bit calmer. At most... Philosophical goldfish. Not as strange as you. <laughs> hmm... Let's just do that. Seems offended. Sorry. <laughs> ah, I don't know. That's super loud. Are you okay? Uh, uh, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> Should I call someone? That was so loud. Whoa, are we like playing the game? <laughs> oh, whoa, where are we? Ooh, it's squishy in here. The hell's going on? Is that an egg that I just picked up? Oh. Uh oh. Um. All right. Well, something really horrible happened. Really? Is this Maggie? Dear God. Oh. Okay. I guess we just need to. From the description of the game, you need to like look around your apartment or house and. Investigate in some way or another. Only thing I've seen to interact with so far is the mop bucket, so... Change clothes. Oh my god, is that her head? Jesus! Trash bags. I did not expect this to take such a turn. I'm just tracking blood everywhere. Don't worry about it. So maybe we'll start with the mop bucket. 
Left mouse clean, right mouse drop. This is gross. Really gross. I guess we're just gonna clean up a murder scene. <laughs> the name of the game, I guess. <laughs> I actually don't know what Chicana means. It sounds familiar, but... Anyways. It actually reminds me of Chicago from the Ace Ventura movie. <laughs> Chicago! <laughs> The one rang the doorbell. I'm Agent Grimes. Open the door, please. I don't know if I should. Sir, is everything all right in there? Everything's fine. Open the door. I mean, there's piles of blood behind me, so... Why did you hesitate so much to open? Is everything okay? Sorry I was delayed because I just spilled a glass of red wine on the carpet. I tried to clean it up before it set. Oh, sorry, I was in my room and didn't hear the doorbell right away. I was resting. I was watching TV and didn't hear the doorbell. Sorry. Grime seems suspicious. What's that stain? I hope it's not what I think it is. It's not. <laughs> uh, what? What's going on? Explain to me right now why there's blood here, and don't try any funny moves. Well, I guess this complicates things, huh? I can explain. It's not what it looks like. I actually don't know what to explain, so... Game over. Okay, we're gonna try again, I guess. We have to do all the dialogue again. I hope not. Okay, <laughs> here we go. So now I'm gonna try to clean everything up closest to the door, I suppose. Maybe start at the door, work our way out. I don't know. Pretty interesting concept, actually, for a game. I, I kind of like it. Sort of like trial and error... ...kind of stuff, I guess. It does take a while to get these blood splatters cleaned up, though. Okay, we a bit of an audio audible tone of when the mop is saturated <laughs> with blood. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I've gotten everything that I need to get. Like maybe some of this. Speed run. I took a while trying to get you know, like looking around the apartment, so maybe this time I'm a little bit ahead of the curve. Okay. Oops. All right. Gotta be careful because you can like put blood back on the floor with the mop if you're not paying attention. Trying to speed run this. Gotta hurry up. And I assume we use the trash bags for the body parts. Oh, 
We're almost done, I think, with the blood. I'm gonna drop this here. Get the mop. Make a good progress, I think. Okay. Let's get the trash bags. Which I think we're... Well, let's change clothes. Now, what do we do with the clothes? Pick up dirty clothes. Okay. Insert. Trash bag. Okay, do we have... Where do we put the trash? Uh-oh. Go away. Okay. Um... Can we just throw it all away in this trash can? That doesn't seem correct. Okay, let's hurry up and get this blood. Okay. There are trash cans in here too? Okay. Well, the cop hasn't showed up, so that's good, I guess. Do I need to dump this out? I mean, I don't know. Keep washing our hands, I guess. We need to... Get this one. Uh, uh oh, okay. Maybe do something here. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Everything's fine. I need to... I mean, why would I bag my own food up, right? I'm eating. Nothing weird about that. Okay, wash my hands. Okay, hold on! Let's see how we did. Why don't you hesitate to open? Is everything okay? Try to clean it up. Let's go with the red wine one this time. But do I even have carpet? I thought it was like all tile. Let's go with the first one. We received a complaint about excessive noise from your apartment. Please make sure to respect quiet hours. Yes, yeah, sorry. I had some lively guests. They just left and I was cleaning up. I apologize. I don't have a dog, so I'm not going with that one. Sorry, but I'd like to come in and take a look. Can I know exactly what you're looking for? Yeah, it is weird to be like, let me in. I don't know, what should we go with? Are we trying to be like, oh yeah, sure, nothing's weird at all happening. <laughs> but like, I don't know. Uh, let's go with that one. Grimes disapproves. I'm not asking, sir. It's better if you let me in or I'll have to call for backup. Grimes seems suspicious, okay. This room seems very well organized. What kind of work do you do? I tell stories. I put into words what I see and sometimes what no one else can see. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to be sincere. So all these books are written by you? Some, but I also keep those that inspire me here. I mostly write for myself. Not all my work sees the light of day. Uh, yeah. Do the first one. Curious. Writers are usually messy. Now, if you don't mind, I should take a look at the other rooms. I hope I didn't miss anything. I feel like I did, but... Sure, go ahead. Ah, I see you appreciate the, the cathode ray tube. What kind of films do you like to watch? I like documentaries. About nature? Certainly. You absolutely must watch the vampire eel documentary. <laughs> oh my gosh. Definitely more interesting than the paperwork in the office. 
I notice you appreciate art. You have a painting with the Andean cross, also known as Chicana. Oh, that's what that is. Inca culture is so rich in symbols. Do you know the meaning of this painting? Andean cross? No, I didn't know what it was called. It was called that. What does it represent? I don't know. I found it at a flea market and I liked it. Let's be more interrogative. Grimes approves. Andean cross or Chicana represents the three levels of life, lower, middle, and upper, each with its symbolic animals. What does the hole in the center mean? Ah, that represents the circle of life, the belly button of the Incas. It's called Cusco. Would you like to know more? <laughs> um, Symbolic animals? Yes, the serpent, the puma, and the condor. The serpent Ucapacha, or Ucapaca, represents the lower world, death. The puma Kaipaca, if I'm mispronouncing these, I'm sorry, represents this world, life. And the condor, the upper world, Hananpaka, represents celestial deities and the Apu, mountain spirits. Thank you for the explanation. Would you like to know more? <laughs> no thanks. I'd say we continue the tour. The kitchen is over there, right? Yes, go ahead. Oh. Well, what can I say? Perfect timing for a blackout. This happens too often lately. Wait here, I'll check the meter. I'll go. The meter must have tripped. I hope you're not afraid of the dark. I mean, like, what's the difference? I'll just do the first one. So we need to check the meter. Is this it? There we go. Now what? Okay, there we go. <laughs> it took a second. Shall we continue? Sure, the kitchen is this way. Nice kitchen, really spacious. Looks perfect for hosting dinners with a lot of guests. I don't invite people over often. I'm not someone who enjoys socializing. I understand. Is this Rick Grimes? Okay, I think we should continue. Strange, there aren't many personal items here. Do you prefer a minimalist style? Exactly, too much stuff around stresses me out. No, I moved recently and still have to organize everything. By choice, I don't like filling the room with useless things. Let's go with that one. Interesting philosophy, less is more, sometimes. Looks like the only thing missing is the bathroom. Curious, there are no mirrors here. Is that a conscious choice? I don't particularly like looking at myself in the mirror. Mirrors. Did you know that once they were covered after death, after a death, it was to prevent something dark from getting trapped inside? That is true. It seems like your washing machine is quite noisy. Maybe you should have it checked. Yes, it's old. I'm planning to replace it soon. Ah, don't worry. It always does that when it's almost done with the cycle. Oh, I'm sorry. I must admit maintenance isn't my strong suit. It's old. I understand. All right, everything seems in order. I'd better leave. Thank God. Try not to cause too much disturbance after the designated hours. Thank you, officer. I hope I don't see you soon. I wish you a good day. Well done. Okay, now what? Is that a Tamagotchi? What was that? A loud heartbeat somewhere. I where's it coming from? This way? Oh, where did the cross go? Play. The 
crosses on the Tamagotchi. Chikana, chapter one to end. Okay. What in the world? <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> Alrighty then. All right, I guess I'll just talk about the game now. I just simply review the visuals, the audio, and the mechanics, and then I just share my general thoughts on the game, and I leave it a final judgment. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm trying to condense my thoughts a little bit so I don't go on too long unless there's something really important I'd like to discuss about a particular game or something uh, related to it. But anyways, visually I think the game is kind of interesting. I'm not really sure what you call that, that kind of filter with all the dots, you know, I don't know if it's dithering or something like that. Because uh, I think dithering gives off that kind of effect, but I'm not sure if the filter is necessarily called that or if that's what they're going for. But um, very interesting look. I like the art style and the art direction visually, just in general. I think it looks pretty cool. So I especially like the way the characters have their own little like portraits when they're speaking. Um, and I like that a lot. And I think it looks really interesting. I think overall the game visually is just fine. I don't have any issues with it. And everything I think comes together really well. I like the level design and it looking like a lived in space with all the things in the house and whatnot. And I thought that was pretty well done. So visually I think the game is pretty solid, at least in my opinion. These are all my opinions. <laughs> Anyways, uh, audio I think is pretty solid. I like the music here on the menu and the strange ambience throughout uh, with, you know, just the screaming and the weird nightmare sequence and things of that nature. I think all the sounds, nothing really stood out to me as bad or out of place or nothing really seemed to break the immersion. So I think overall it worked really well. So audio I think is pretty solid and I don't have an issue with that either. So good work there. And mechanics, uh, the game is actually quite interesting in terms of there being a lot of dialogue to go through and having different choices that I'm not sure how they they would alter the outcome of certain situations other than the obvious ones when we see something like Grimes just, you know, doesn't approve or, you know, Maggie was offended or things of that nature obviously seem to affect something uh, in the game. But some of the choices towards the end with the policeman, Grimes, it were almost all the same answers, like yes, but, uh, blah, 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 or yes, but I don't want to talk about it, or yes, I don't like this, or something. You know, it's saying yes in like three different ways, which I understand maybe writing dialogue like this is kind of a challenge. I would assume it is. But anyways, I think it is still interesting to, to read through the different choices you have for dialogue and how that affects the game, I'm not quite sure. I think maybe there's some replayability involved with that. Obviously, with cleaning up the apartment, it took it took a while to sort of get all the blood going uh, into the you know mop and whatnot. It's a bit tedious, but overall, I think it helps sort of build tension because you're like, I need to clean this up and, and whatnot. It's still a mystery of what happened to Maggie if we killed her or something took us over or... There's something else psychological or supernatural going on here with the reference to Chicana and whatnot. I'm not sure. But I like that it is a dialogue-focused game while also having some gameplay here and there to break it up a little bit and keep things sort of going and, you know, keep the pacing going. And I think the pacing was fine. Other than cleaning up the blood, which I think was a little tedious, like I said, I think the, the pacing and everything mechanically was fine with the dialogue and the choices you make and just what it leads up to it's just sort of an introspection on the character we're playing as but also uh, it's kind of fun to figure out what to say when you should in this moment because we don't really know what's going on so uh, I think being diligent and specific with our approach to the dialogue I think was sort of fun and I think mechanically the game works really well in that manner so like you did a good job with that as well I don't really have anything else to say about the game in general. I think it's fascinating, and I wonder where they're going to go with it in Chapter 2 and so on. And, um, yeah, just keep up the great work, and I wish you the best of luck. And I guess my final judgment for Chicana Chapter 1 is I would say it's very good. I had a good time with it, and uh, pretty solid overall, in my opinion. Nothing really just stands out that was an issue. So, yeah, keep up the great work, and, uh, yeah, this was really fun. 
And don't forget to check the pinned comment below to find the links for everything. You can go play this game for yourself on Itch.io, and I want you to form your own opinion and tell the, de the developer what you think about it. I'm sure they would appreciate your feedback as well as mine. So, if you enjoy my content, hit subscribe, leave a like, comment, and share the video. I'd really appreciate that. It does me a lot of good. And also, feel free to tell me what you think in the comments below. What are your thoughts on this game or games like this? Or if you my content, you just want to say something about my video or just say hey to me or something like that I, I welcome you to just yeah just say what's up in the comments i appreciate it so yeah not much else to say about it honestly uh, i'm trying to work on my sleep schedule and my upload schedule and everything so uh, i try to upload two three times a week so yeah i will just i'll keep aiming for that i'll try i try to go for monday wednesday fridays so i'll just keep working at it and um, do my best and i appreciate your patience and everything and thank you for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and I think that's all I have to say about it. So thanks for hanging out with me. And don't forget, the Pale Moth is always watching.